people would probably best recognize me from a little show that I did for E! called Rich Kids of Beverly Hills. And I now currently work at E! and I host my own segment called Necessary Realness, which airs every Monday on Instagram. The exaggerated cuff is a trend I'm seeing everywhere. Fashion is a big passion of mine. I love to search images of fashion to get inspiration for myself. People definitely look to my Instagram to get inspiration for clothes and beauty, and I feel like I have a very distinct sense of style that people identify with. For me, beauty and fashion less is really more. I like to keep things really minimalistic, classic. I feel like my followers really follow me because I have a really relatable sense of style. I feel like I'm a really big jeans and t-shirt girl, and I feel like most people can recreate everything that they see on my Instagram, and I think that that's why people follow me, because they don't feel like there's such a disconnect between us. I think they feel like I can inspire them to wear something, and then they'll put their own little spin on it, and then they come back for more. That was TV personality Morgan Stewart, who lives all things fashion and beauty. We had her check out a new at-home filler that claims it can bring back volume to your face in two weeks without any injections. So Morgan had three women put it to the test. Okay, so I haven't had any cheek filler or face filler yet, and I'm not lying about that, but I've definitely injected my lips a handful of times. And I don't mind going, you know, a few times a year to the doctor's office to get them done, but I mean, I could totally see how people could get tired of going to a doctor's office. It's expensive, and you have to take the trip, and it hurts. There's a new product called Fillerina, which is an at-home filler. It comes in three formulas, depending where you are in the aging process. I wanna know if this thing really works. So we found three different women who are gonna put it to the test. So they're each gonna use it for two weeks and then we're gonna check back with them to make sure that this stuff really works. It claims that it can turn back the clock in just two weeks with the help of two gels with two applicators and you basically just use the applicator to fill in the lines under your face with the product and apparently it's supposed to just pump you right up. Morgan joins us now as well as Joe, Robin, and Gina who are in the audience to reveal their put it to the test results. Thank you. So Morgan, welcome. Good. Before we get into your thoughts on all this, yeah. let's go ahead and start and show some of the results starting with Joe. I liked it. Um, I just wish I could have it forever and just have it frozen <laughs> like that <laughs> and not have to reapply. What was it like applying it yourself? Um, it was very easy and it does look like a needle, but it's not a needle, but you can really specifically go to the target sites and it smells good and I feel like I've just gotten a facial. This is actually really clever packaging because it's sort of designed to look like syringes, mm -hmm. but it's all topical. Mm -hmm. It's just hyaluronic acid of different amounts with different molecule sizes. Right, which correct? is like the gem right now, right? I feel yeah. like and that's all anyone is talking about. Mm -hmm. so, you, so that was a lower grade. Yes. Robin, <laughs> let, let's talk about your results. Um, yes, I definitely noticed a difference. I felt like my skin was softer and more supple, and I felt like the lines here, for sure, definitely were diminished. And it's a very luxurious <laughs> feel. The scent. I yeah. love the very scent. Cool. And then, Gina, you had a little bit more mature skin. Tell us about your experience. Yes, well, it's very similar to these two. I enjoyed the product very much. Um, I did notice a difference around my mouth and some around my eyes. I didn't notice as much on my forehead, but the creases in my forehead are a little deeper. Morgan, what, what are your thoughts on it? I mean, I feel like I would try anything once, so why not? And I feel like topical filler is great for like moms like and people, girl. you know, Right? Well, are we gonna be best sticker. friends now? Yeah. Yes. I mean, might as well, you try it. I mean, I think I'm, I would do it. The concept yeah. is that you're getting this stuff under the skin and you're plumping it those molecules are just too big. Right. You yeah. know, the, our skin is a wonderful protective barrier. Epidermis, dermis, you're mm. trying to get filling. You need to get these molecules into the dermis. It's not going to pass in there. But I agree that you probably are seeing a change in the outer skin. More, more moist, more yeah, supple. Really nice hydration. And, and I and, think, you know, this protocol of using it for two weeks and then waiting another three to four months and using it again is, is practical. I mean, it's, it's easier, certainly, and less expensive than going to a physician's mm -hmm. office and having it injected under the surface of your and skin. And that continues to be an issue. It, it, bruising, it does hurt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is not inexpensive. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you go and you you want to look good for a big event and you get a bruise, that's a problem. Morgan, and, and, you and try, and try, try yourself? I fill my lips like every eight months, which is hurts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and that's Certainly the one thing, you know, yeah. pain Doesn't versus no pain. And I think it's, yeah. like, we always say on the show, we like to profile things because it's another option. Mm -hmm. Clearly three very happy participants. Thank you all for trying yeah. it out.